Here we have an example InfoWorks model that we've automatically generated using the model creator. We're going to start by exporting the existing topography to a format that can be read by Civil 3D. This is achieved by going to the Present Share tab and selecting Export IMX. Here we can decide what areas of the model or whether it's the entire model we want to export. Also, what coordinate system are we using? In this case, OSGB 1936 National Grid, a common system used in the UK. Finally, we need to select the export file, whether we are creating a new file or overwriting an existing one. We can now export the file. Our file is now ready for use within Civil 3D. In Civil 3D, we can link our exported InfraWorks file for developing our detailed design model. We can do this by going to the InfraWorks tab and selecting Open Model. Here, we can navigate to our exported IMX file. Ensure the coordinate system is correct, and we can use a custom object settings file to control layers and styles for the imported items. Finally, we can select the objects we want to import from the IMX file. In this case, we simply want the existing terrain surface. You can now see our existing topography has been successfully imported from our InfraWorks model. We have developed our Civil 3D corridor using our InfraWorks model as a reference surface. We can now link the corridor back into our InfraWorks model. This is done by going to Data Sources under the Manage tab and adding a Autodesk 3D DWG. We now need to navigate to our Civil 3D model. Here, we can select the objects we want to import from the model. In this case, we simply need the corridor. By refreshing the model, the corridor will appear. Our Civil 3D model is linked to InfraWorks and can be updated if the corridor design was to change. We are now going to add a bridge using the tools included within InfraWorks. This is achieved by going to the Create tab and selecting Bridge. We can now select the stations along the corridor we want our bridge to occur between. We can then adjust these stations to get a sensible outcome. From here, we are able to adjust the properties of the bridge such as the design standard the bridge is to follow, number of piers, and so on. Now we have a bridge modelled simply and efficiently. Now that we've created our bridge in InfraWorks, we are going to export the model and import into Civil 3D. We can do this by right-clicking on one of the bridge components and selecting Publish Civil Structures. We can either update an existing file or create a new export. We then need to navigate to where the model is to be stored. Click and Create will export our bridge to either a new file or update an old version. Our bridge is now ready to be used in Civil 3D. We can import our bridge model by going to the InfraWorks tab and selecting Open Model. Here we need to navigate to the IMX file we created in the previous step. Ensure the coordinate system is correct. 
Then we shall select the object settings we want to apply to our bridge model. Finally, we want to ensure we're only importing the bridge geometry. Click Open Model. Our bridge model has now appeared in Civil 3D. As you can see, the bridge aligns nicely with the Civil 3D copy. We can now add the bridge to our profile for illustrating the design on the drawing. First, select the profile view we want the bridge to appear in and select Project Objects to Profile View from the ribbon. Then click on any of the bridge components. Here we can change the projection aesthetics and customise the labels we want to appear in the profile. As you can see, the bridge geometry now appears in our profile view, ready for drawing production. There you have it, a simple workflow between Civil 3D and InfraWorks. Thanks for watching.